You know, folks, we're ready right here. All right. You know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a little earlier in the show, standing over there, I was talking to you about Donald Trump's hostile relationship with the media. And it really hit a new low on Friday when, at an informal press briefing, Sean Spicer banned reporters from CNN, The New York Times, Politico, The Los Angeles Times, and BuzzFeed. Of course, BuzzFeed, I understand. No, it's upsetting, but you gotta understand, BuzzFeed was excluded because Spicer didn't like the answer he got for, which Gilmore girl are you? <laughs> Such a Lorelei. <laughs> and this came only a few hours after Donald Trump said this. I love the First Amendment. Nobody know, loves it better than me. Yeah. It's like they say, if you love the First Amendment, set it free. <laughs> if it comes back, don't let it in the press briefing. And the root of all this conflict is that Donald Trump calls any story he doesn't like fake news. I mean, the whole thing is just, it just, it just, it just, it just It's always great to see you, but I got to nice to see you as well. How did, how did you get under my desk? I have a, a tunnel. A tunnel? A tunnel that I've uh, built straight from my farm. I did the tunnel right from the... Uh, you came here straight from the farm? Right from the farm. You do your farming uh, in makeup and a tie. I like to look nice. John? Mm -hmm. You miss it, don't you? Yes, I miss it! <laughs> Stephen, I spent a whole day... Spend the whole day yelling about Trump to the animals. <laughs> we have a barn spider. Yes. Don't know the name. <laughs> Wolf, please get a job into a web. Into a web! Now, John, if you need to get away from the farm, you're always welcome here, obviously. I mean, well, that's very you, kind. We, have, we so have a much. chair right yeah. here for you. Yeah. Why don't you... All right. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's like a... Oh, this is a I like this. So, you know, uh, it's, a little, it's a little tight. Yes, it's a little it is. Tight. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now, so, so, John. John, what do you think about Trump banning uh, the mainstream media from that briefing and, uh, him, and, him, and him not going to the correspondence dinner? I can't believe the guy's got the balls. Let me say this. I can't believe the guy's got the balls to get away with that. Trump lies more in one press conference than CNN does in a year. And this is coming from a guy who, as you know, hates CNN. <laughs> Look at this, look at this clip, look, look. Got 306 electoral college votes. I guess it was the biggest electoral college win since Ronald Reagan. You guessed wrong! <laughs> Smaller than both of Barack Obama's wins and Bill Clinton's win and George H.W. It's the biggest win since Reagan, if you don't count everyone since Reagan, but... <laughs> What about this? What about this? The murder rate in our country is the highest it's been in 47 years, right? Did you know that? 47 years. I'd say that in a speech and everybody was surprised because the press doesn't tell it like it is. No, they were surprised <laughs> because it's not true. <laughs> it's not the lowest it's been in 45 years. And then what? this one. What? Uh, this is my favorite. You got, you, you got to see this one. Bomb threats have been made against Jewish centers all across the country in the last couple of weeks. There are people who are committing anti-Semitic acts or threatening to... You see, he said he was going to ask a very simple, easy question. And it's not. It's not. Not a, not a simple question. Not a fair question. Okay, sit down. I, I understand the rest of your question. So here's the story, folks. Uh, number one, I am the least anti-Semitic person that you've ever seen in your entire life. I don't think that's true. <laughs> you know, he's not even, he was not, <laughs> watch that. He said that to a guy wearing a yarmulke. <laughs> Donald, you're not even the least anti-Semitic person in the clip we showed. 
Okay, John, John, obviously, okay, the president exaggerates. That's I true, see. but you, you, you can't possibly know yes. if he's lying on purpose. You can, Stephen, you can. He's lying on purpose. You know how we know how? How? Because he constantly says the phrase, believe me. <laughs> Nobody says believe me unless they are lying. <laughs> oh, honey. Could, could, you, could you give me an, could you give me an example? I will give you an example. Hey, honey, I, I was just helping Stacy test out her perfect sleep number. Believe me. <laughs> what? No, it's just a giant wooden horse. Believe me. <laughs> what? Democrats in disarray? <laughs> no, they have a plan. Believe me. Okay, well, come on, done, done. Okay, he doesn't. I did it in three. It's really You're funny three? that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, he doesn't say "believe me" that often, John. Really, he doesn't yeah. say "believe." He doesn't. Roll two twelve. Believe me. 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 Okay, believe me. Believe me. Believe me, folks. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Bubble. So you, so you, you agree with me that Trump uh, banning any members of the press is un-American? Oh, it's un-American. Not to like the press. Oh, you know what I say? I say stop your whining, press. I say stop. Can I talk to the media for a moment? Sure, go ahead. Matt, which one of these cameras goes out to the media? That one goes straight to the media. Yeah, goes straight. Hey, hey guys. Hey, media. So I heard uh, Donald Trump broke up with you. Stings a little, doesn't it? Finally thought you'd met your match. A blabbermouth who's as thin-skinned and narcissistic as you are. <laughs> well, now it's over. Well, good riddance, I say, kick him to the curb. <laughs> Media. Thank you. It is time for you to get your groove back, Media. Because let's face facts, you kind of let yourself go a little bit for these past few years. <laughs> Put on a few pundits, obsessing 24 hours a day, seven days a week about this one guy. <gasps> What's Donnie up to? Did he say anything about us? You think he's going to come on our show? Do you think he even likes us? He doesn't even have to come on. He can just call us. Oh, Donnie, please, just let us know you're OK. <laughs> and the whole time you're chasing after Donnie, the rest of us are thinking, can't you see he's an ass? <laughs> No! You tried to defend him. No, 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 no. That's just primaries, Donald. That's just election, Donald. You'll see. We can change him. He'll get presidential. Yeah, how'd that work out? It didn't. And do you know why? Because 70-year-old men don't get less cranky or racist as time goes by. Unless... It was one instance. It was one? Really? Unless? Yeah. Yeah. Unless, if I remember once correctly, unless they are visited at night by three spirits. But I know that doesn't. <laughs> Look, media, I'm not saying the breakup is going to be easy. You're going to see your ex swiping far right with every Tom Drudge and Breitbart. <laughs> and from what I heard, they do anal. John, you are aware we are on CBS right now, yes? In my defense, they do anal. <laughs> All right. Did I, did I get us canceled? Us? <laughs> Here's my point, media. Here's my point. This breakup with Donald Trump has given you, the media, an amazing opportunity for self-reflection and improvement. Instead of worrying about whether Trump is un-American or if he thinks you're the enemy, or if he's being mean to you, or if he's going to let you go back into the briefings, do something for yourself. Self-improvement. Take up a hobby. I recommend journalism. <laughs> you know, I think this breakup is going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. So you really think the media is going to take this opportunity for self-reflection and get better at their jobs? I really do. 
Believe me. John Stewart, everybody.